Fun fact. On my Windows 10 computer, if I have a Chrome browser with four tabs, one YouTube player and one file browser open, and if I look at the task manager, it would show 23% of my RAM, which is 32 gigs, is consumed. That means 7.5 gigs of RAM is already used up. And yet, if you go out in the market looking for a Windows 10 laptop, majority of them sell with just 8 gigs of RAM. And they're not even cheap. So you can get the you know a high-end graphic card, a high-performing Core i7 CPU. Your RAM is going to become the bottleneck of your system's performance. First, let me explain why so much RAM is being used when I'm doing so little upfront. Well, everything that's happening in the background, all the background processes like you know that notification that you get from Outlook that you've got a new email, your Slack notifying you there's a new message, your Adobe Creative Cloud looking for updates to various apps or even your antivirus constantly scanning your computer for anything suspicious. Everything that happens in the background and in front of you eats up a part of your RAM. And it's not like you can just go ahead and shut down a process. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't because you don't know which of those processes are critical. And why should you have to? I mean, you're spending so much money getting that laptop. And I really think, I really think the manufacturers should normalize 16 gigs of RAM as minimum. And think about it, these manufacturers buy these parts in huge quantities, right? So they're more likely to get a much lower price for a stick of 16 gigs of RAM than a consumer like you or me. And hey, even if we bought it, most laptops are becoming so thin these days, manufacturers have to solder the RAM to the board. So that sort of makes it impossible for you to just swap out the 8 gigs RAM and put back in a 16 gigs RAM. So part of the solution is that you pay more, right? But guess what? Majority of the 16 gigs laptops also come with higher end graphic cards, better CPUs, better displays. And you end up paying for them as well while you don't even need those as much as you need the 16 gigs RAM. So it's really just a vicious circle. Of course, a lot of times it's a budget constraint. You just don't want to spend so much money on a laptop, so you settle for 8 gigs. But the point I'm trying to make is that you're already spending a lot of money. And you know the price difference between 8 gigs and 16 gigs is not a lot, especially for the manufacturer who can get them at much lower prices. I just don't know why they're not doing it. So my suggestion to all of you is that if you're looking to buy a Windows 10 laptop or a PC, ensure that you get yourself, just go that extra bit and get yourself 16 gigs of RAM. It could mean that you have to save up more and delay your purchase. It could mean you have to compromise on, you know, the display resolution or the screen size or, you know, probably give up a touch screen. But guys, it's the performance that would get the job done, whatever you're buying your laptop for. And the RAM along with the processor, the GPU and the storage type, which has to be SSD, is what actually contributes to the performance of your machine. And I do talk about all of these four factors and how they help you or how you should look at them when you're trying to arrive on a specific laptop and you're choosing a laptop. So I link the video in the top right corner and in the description. So definitely check that video out. But yeah, until manufacturers take the responsibility of normalizing 16 gigs of RAM as the minimum amount of RAM you get on a laptop, the liability is on you, you know, us, the customers. And, and that's a reality for now. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't 16 gigs laptops available in the market, there, there are, but they're just so less that it really doesn't play in the favor of customer. I mean, if you look at the amount, the number of eight gigs laptops available for you to purchase from, 16 gigs are hard, it's insignificant, that number. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to share with you guys and suggest that you do always think about 16 gigs of RAM as a minimum for yourself, just to get yourself a really, a machine that can last for a few years. Thanks for watching guys. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.